I think this makes my hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you're trying to subscribe or welcome back cakes and if it's the first time tuning in you're most definitely welcome on this channel we'll focus on fashion skincare and lifestyle and today I have a lifestyle video I'll be sharing my favorite favorite alcoholic beverages um, that are low carb I've been strictly dabbing dipping around these drinks for the past year now definitely i have been enjoying them i'm not looking back and they are delicious uh, let's just get into this video so my first um drink that i'm going to share um it's tequila <laughs> before i've never been a tequila person i actually didn't like tequila um i found it better i didn't enjoy it i honestly didn't enjoy it or rather i would drink my tequila whenever we are having shots amongst friends or my partner and that was it but currently i'm actually enjoying tequila like i can drink tequila the whole night um it, it's very low in, in carbohydrates and I love how smooth it tastes now. I think the reason why it's because I totally have cut a lot on sugar. So me having it, it does not taste any funny or beta or like, oh my goodness, I can't swallow it. I'm enjoying it. I currently don't have a favorite brand. I will not lie, but I'm just drinking tequila. When they say tequila, I'm like that's my drink i'm enjoying tequila and my second drink oh this is my favorite one of my favorite as well um i never thought it would be one of my favorite it's actually soda water with cognac i love cognac guys i would die for cognac i never used to like cognac because um not i used to i used to drink it but you know how we would always mix or dash here in south africa would say dash our our whiskey or cognac would add sugar would add um would add um tonic water would definitely add anything just for it to go down something sweet and we thought that's the way to go but that was not the way to go i then uh, started drinking it on the rocks my partner on the other end has started drinking um your whiskeys and cognac very neat just with um ice or water that's him oh it's been like eight years away he's been drinking like that and i used to look at him like wow i can't believe you're drinking it just like that but now i i, I found out that cognac is sweet in taste and he's the one who i, I was like yo i'm enjoying this and he's like no cognac is quite sweet it's sweet in taste so that's why you're enjoying it i'm like oh okay you see now i'm like he's my teacher my partner is my teacher when it comes to alcohol i'll not lie he loves beverage a lot alcohol he loves it a lot and i don't mind him sipping because he doesn't misbehave after drinks he, uh, he's still himself he's just happy and he's just he i think he would actually give me his bank card when he's just sipping <laughs> my third um drink it's my third drink it's gin i love drink drinking gin i started drinking gin way before i started my low carb lifestyle and i used to mix it or dash it with a flavored or sweetened um, mixes like your cordial i would add cordial i would add your tonic water and i used to drink it like that i used to enjoy it so much like that and i used to think that is the way to go there's no other way but when i started using a uh, coming a lot into the low carb lifestyle i had to make healthier options for myself one thing with me guys i love healthy lifestyle right i would drink something if it's healthy trust me i'll drink it but drinking non-sweetened um cool drinks was just a no-no for me luckily enough in south africa by the time i transitioned into the low carb lifestyle there was um there was uh, no sugar added t 
tonic water especially the shrimps brand i love it so much because it does not have that stevia aftertaste i enjoy it so much with this i even drink the sort of i mean the tonic water on its own so i would just add my tonic water i would add ice and i would add um rosemary i would add um, berries as well and cucumber and guess it is amazing you will definitely fall in love with it and it has been my go-to drink especially throughout the summer season i don't have a specific gin um brand that i love for me gin goes but i turn not to go towards the color the color um, uh gin like in terms of the blue or the pink i usually go for the transparent one that we all grew up and uh, knowing and enjoying seeing our parents enjoying so that's the one that i go to and also when i drink my cognac before i think i forgot to tell you guys i drink my cognac uh with ice and soda water period period i am a grown-up I'm a grown up like I enjoy it I drink it I'm just relaxed like guess I would definitely drink an entire bottle of cognac and one thing I've noticed about cognac it does not make me drunk um, at all it makes me a bit tipsy and that's it it does not make me feel funny the next day I'm going to go I'm able to work out and exercise become productive I am definitely a cognac girl all right my other favorite drink that i recently discovered <laughs> that i recently discovered through my older brother my cousin brother uh Mugeti, ram ram i never thought <laughs> ram was never something that I, that I thought of the person who used to drink ram that i can recall is my father's older brother who is my uncle no, actually, my grandfather. Traditionally, um, your father's older brother is Ndati Moholo, which is grandpa. Or, yeah, depending on which um, culture you are, but Basutu, that's how we reference it. So he would drink a rum, and I'm like, <laughs> especially he would drink that one, the red, is, I think it's a red heart. I would be like, oh my goodness. The bottle is not attractive but i guess he was enjoying it and i tried it i tried the bakadi one i tried the bakadi um rum i enjoyed it so much this was the first time i drank rum i'll definitely try the red hot and see if they taste the same because i was just scared of the packaging of the packaging of the red hot i mix my um my rum with sugar-free um tonic as well but i heard that you should drink it um you should just drink it neat as well but because it was the first time i need to figure out how actually how do i mix my rum but i just added um tonic water and but not a lot as well and i added two slices of cucumber and a slice of and a slice of lemon so i mixed mine with no sugar as well and i enjoyed it i'm not sure in south africa if we already have sugar-free cordial i know that we have sugar-free uh, syrup but i'll try and find out and if we do i'll definitely do cocktails as well where i enjoy my rum and see how it works but i i noticed that rum wants something citrusy lemony so i actually enjoyed it a lot with lemon and it was the cucumber just gave me that fresh taste i think if i had mint as well it would be perfect you see so i'm definitely enjoying this lifestyle i'm happy guys i am happy even if when i go to a restaurant i go like sugar-free tonic first if they don't have um i would drink if i'm drinking cognac it's perfect so i would but if i really feel like gin i'll be like no it's fine um i'll have my my um tonic water that has sugar and, and i just make peace don't be too paranoid to a point where you don't get to enjoy your life that's a mistake that i made in a lot of states since in a lot of um, moments because i would constantly read the nutritional information how many carbs how many sugar and i'll be like oh, i don't want this i don't don't 
if there's nothing you can do drink but just don't consume too much if i know that i'm drinking i'm sh to tonic that has sugar i'll not drink a lot i'll probably have if it's 200 milliliters um can i think the small thin can is 200 i'll make sure that i have probably three of those and i'm going to go out and make sure that i don't con eat after during during i don't drink because already i'm i don't eat because i'm already in um in taking carbohydrates so yeah and then my last drink that i enjoy especially now during winter because it's so cold i can't drink my cognac i can't drink my gin because i don't want to get flu and with COVID, guys COVID is so bad now in south africa so i'm trying to um cut on cold drinks a lot um i'm cut i'm trying to get uh, drinks that are warm but the thing about this drink is it has carbohydrates inside it has carbs so whenever i drink it i make sure that i drink my detoxifying tea so that the carbs do go out because i know it has so much carbs but it's warm and nice i like my dry wine i love dry wine the other thing about wine with me i'm not really a wine person my other my boyfriend again influenced me into drinking wine especially this dry red wine i remember when i was still in varsity i used to drink the sweet wines the sweet red <laughs> sweet white um it was just the thing and i thought that was the wines uh, i was drinking the wines and i was not drinking the right wines that's why i was so um big especially in Rossett because i would eat trash drink trash and i knew nothing good but now i drink my uh dry red i drink my dry white and i enjoy it i don't drink i i i i, I literally drink my wine for maybe like a long time like five hours i was just sipping on my wine slowly sleeping on my wine slowly and here and there diving on some water because the thing with wine it, it wants you to drink a bit of water in between so that you don't become dehydrated or you don't become too um drunk quickly i'm definitely enjoying my wines i don't have a specific brand my partner again is just the person who usually picks the wines for me i'll be like uh guys i'm one person it's not easy for me to make a decision here like i would be like oh my goodness should i especially on something that involves other people like usually we'd buy wine for i'll be he'll buy his bottle my bottle and there's that middle bottle that we both enjoy then i'm like oh i don't know what to do especially when i don't really i don't know what if i could drink alcohol every day i'll definitely drink cognac but i can't because cognac as well it's too expensive sometimes i just go like oh my goodness what should i buy then he just goes he usually goes for the blended ones because they have that mixtured um taste inside so that i get to enjoy it i really swallow i swallow my pride when i drink wine i'm actually used to it now i would go and buy my dry red drink it and since i found out that also wine is so good for your heart i enjoy it better i am so okay with drinking what's good for me and what makes me a better person than actually just drinking something that i enjoy the next day it makes me sick and it gets me fat and i'm just unhappy with the person that i make that i that, that that i am at that point so i've made a decision a very conscious decision that you know what you're going to consume things that are good for you you're going to be disciplined about it and i'm not gonna be worried or be like oh my goodness but i could be drinking this knowing exactly that after a couple of hours i'll feel so bad after consuming it so it's just all about your decision be consistent in your decision find a, a lifestyle that works for you like i did i found something that works for me for me keto banting low carb is the best lifestyle for me because i'll rather sacrifice especially on alcohol than food i like tasty food so i'd rather have my dry alcohol but not my dry food you get what i'm saying so yeah so thank you for watching if you've watched this video until the end i'll definitely should i tell me in the comment section should i make some cocktails mix and 
I think that would be perfect for summer, but I don't know. I'll just show you my favorite drinks and share, make a couple of cocktails, maybe during um, spring, summer time. So yeah, thank you for watching. Take care and I love you.